1X Technology says its AI-powered humanoid robots are on the verge of entering homes at scale. The well-funded startup just unveiled the second major iteration of its Neo-robot, designed specifically for household tasks. Also, a Chinese humanoid robot powered by Huawei Artificial Intelligence has entered the classroom. 1X Technologies, founded in Norway and headquartered in Silicon Valley, just unveiled its next-generation Android called the Neo Gamma. The introduction comes six months after 1X generated significant buzz with its Neo Beta humanoid robot. 1X calls the Gamma Edition a major step toward a Jetsons-like world with robots autonomously performing chores at homes. Founder Bernd Bornick said the iteration brings the project into the engineering sample stage. The upcoming third iteration will presumably be the mass production ready Alpha Neo. The new robot features an overhaul design and enhanced artificial intelligence. It features a minimalist, Japanese inspired design with so called emotive earrings that provide real time visual feedback for better communication. 1X designers intended for the Gamma to appear approachable and blend seamlessly into home aesthetics. The startup says the hardware is 10 times more reliable and 10 decibels quieter than the previous model. According to 1X, Neo Gamma has an improved walking gait and is better at object manipulation. The humanoid can squat to pick up items and sit in a chair almost like a normal person. 1X didn't specify its walking or running speed, but the Neo robot could reportedly walk at a pace of 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles per hour and maxed out at 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles per hour. Like the beta model, the Neo Gamma has five fingered hands that can handle fragile items like wine bottles. The robot runs on an in house developed language model that converts natural conversations into actions. A day before the unveiling, fellow Sunnyvale robotics firm Figure announced its self-developed AI model called Helix. Like 1X, Figure says its technology will enable autonomous humanoid robots to enter homes at scale. Figure shared demo footage showing two Figure 2 humanoid robots teaming up to put away groceries after verbal instructions. Like Figure, 1X has ambitious goals for mass-producing its humanoids. The startup plans to deploy a limited number of robots in households in 2025 and scale production in 2026. They're aiming to manufacture 100,000 humanoid robots by 2027 and millions of units in 2028. While Figure initially focused on industrial applications, founder Brett Adcock says the foundational technologies will be repurposed for home use in the coming years. 1X has been focused on robotics for homes since it introduced Neo. The Gamma robot enhances safety with a soft covering intended to prevent injuries to people and pets. The robot's knit suit and shoes are made from 3D printed soft nylon. Made using a Japanese Shimaseki knitting machine, the fabric is designed to conform to the robot without affecting performance. The robot captures audio with four microphones featuring beamforming and noise cancellation technology. For audio output, Neo features a three-speaker system. Its chest speaker is for AI voice interactions, while two outward-facing speakers in the pelvis are for sound effects and music. On the X social media platform, Eric Jang, 1X's head of AI, said the new and improved robots have been doing chores at the homes of 1X employees for weeks. Warnick said Gamma Humanoids will soon head to the homes of select early adopters who sign a non-disclosure agreement. 1X also recently acquired the quirky robotics startup Kind Humanoid. Christoph Kostel, a former Google robotics engineer who founded the startup in a Palo Alto garage, has joined 1X as a creator. Financial terms were not disclosed. In 2024, Kind Humanoid teamed up with industrial design firm Fuse Project to create an AI-powered robot for versatile tasks in healthcare and homes. The surrealistic art-inspired Kind Humanoid featured a visor displaying animations of clouds and skies with floating eyes to express intent and emotion. 
One X's Neo robot had its first big public appearance in March 2024 when a prototype stood alongside creations from major robotics players like Boston Dynamics, Figure, Unitree Robotics, Uptronic, Fourier, and Sanctuary AI during Jensen Wong's keynote at NVIDIA's GTC AI conference. The startup's first-generation robot, Eve, also garnered significant attention last year after popular Twitch streamer Kai Sinat bought a pair of them for $50,000. generation of humanoid robots will become part of homes everywhere. Not as mere machines, but as companions that give back time. Time for families to be together, for creators to create, and for dreamers to dream bigger. I am proof of what's possible when you reject limits and pursue what others say can't be done. The content proved popular, and clips of the wheeled humanoid interacting with celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Benny Blanco, and Chris Brown went viral. Meanwhile, in China, full-sized humanoid robots are entering the classroom. In this video from the Chinese tabloid The Global Times, Quavo by Shenzhen-based Leiju Robot is shown teaching a lesson at a school in Mianyang, Sichuan. The report mentions a system called Little B, which could be an AI module tailored for education. Leiju introduced the Quavo robot at the Appliance and Electronics World Expo in Shanghai in March 2024. It's the first humanoid robot to run on Huawei's Harmony operating system. By July 2024, Quavo was being tested at NEO's EV factory for tasks like vehicle assembly and quality control. Quavo, also known as Quafu, integrates Huawei's Pangu AI model for advanced embodied intelligence. Founded in 2016, Leiju focused on educational robots before it entered the general-purpose humanoid robotics market. Another Chinese robotics firm, Magic Lab, is boasting the capabilities of its highly dexterous robotic hand. The Suzhou-based startup just unveiled its Magic Hand S1, which can lift up to 20 kilos when attached to one of its full-sized humanoid robots. The robot hand has 11 degrees of freedom and hybrid force position control. The degrees of freedom matches the dexterity of the current Tesla Optimus iteration. However, the Generation 3 Tesla bot has a reported 22 degrees of freedom. Human hands have 27 degrees of freedom, However, Tesla is positioning the Optimus for wide-ranging factory and household applications, while Magic Lab is emphasizing industrial work. The startup plans to develop robotic hands with more dexterity. Magic Lab says it's one of the few companies in the world capable of producing advanced robotic hands at scale. The rising startup recently raised $21 million in an angel funding round after showcasing its MagicBot AI-powered humanoids training for factory work in late 2024. For more on that, check the related video.